Hey guys, today we're going to talk all about Physicians Formula face products. And this is a line that has a ton of face products. We're going to talk about the good, the bad, the ugly. Many of you know that I have tried a lot from the brand. Um, back when I did my couponing, I really stockpiled and was out on a mission to try everything. So I feel like I know a lot about the line. We're going to start with favorite powders. I'm wearing this today. I featured this in my top five favorite powders. This is the talc-free mineral wear pressed powder. This is not marketed as a foundation, but this is an absolute dupe for the Jane Iredell pressed powder foundation. I used to use that way back when and gosh, it's like $40, $45. It's really, really expensive, but this stuff just covers anything. If you have sunspots, if you have acne scars, hyperpigmentation, it is a legit full, full coverage powder, especially if you apply it with a kabuki or a sponge. I love this stuff. It's safe for acne prone skin, sensitive skin. Great if you have rosacea. This comes in eight shades. My shade is buff beige. I am wearing this today. I've gone through a bajillion of these, this is an absolute hit. A product I don't have in front of me that I wish I did, while I was researching, I realized, oh my gosh, I love this powder. This could have been in my top five. How did I forget about this? This is the Cover Tox 10 powder, and it's supposed to be, I think the Tox is supposed to be like, Botox in a powder, if that's possible, that's kind of dumb, but this doesn't settle in your pores, it doesn't exaggerate fine lines, it doesn't look chalky or powdery, it is wonderful for more mature skin, or anyone that just wants to like set their concealer without having that creasing underneath the eye that happens to us all. It's a wonderful powder, it's a light coverage, it's not very full coverage, so it's more for setting your foundation. The drawback is it only comes in two shades. I actually had it in a makeup bag when I was traveling and my older sister Larissa was like, what is this? Let me try it. This looks interesting. And she loved it so much that I was just like, oh, take it. I have plenty of powder. So um, it's a really wonderful, wonderful high quality powder. Let's move on to blush. The Sexy Booster Blush is the newest in the line and I could not resist the cute packaging. But lo and behold, it's an awesome product as well. It's kind of kitschy, like like they say it's gonna make you sexier it's with pheromones and it's supposed to make you just feel I don't know feel sexy and it smells like vanilla it smells so good it's the weirdest thing to smell your blush but oh my goodness I love this thing this comes in two shades I have rose it retails for $11.95 but a lot of the newer packaging had $3 off coupons so look for that this is gluten-free oil-free safe for acne prone skin be light with application though because it is on the shimmery side you don't want to go bananas with it and get it all over the face and, and look overly dewy the blush I'm wearing today which I absolutely love it gives you the nicest, creamiest, just beautiful rosy glow. And it's actually called Rosy Glow, so that's fitting. This is the Mineral Wear Blush. This comes in several different shades. You may have to order this online because I haven't seen these in the stores recently, but this is still on the Physician's Formula site. There is something about this product. It's the same, same kind of thing with this pressed powder. Um, it applies really beautifully, evenly, and just wears really well and doesn't look like you're wearing a ton of makeup. I prefer this over any of the mosaic blushes, over any of these kind of pearly blushes. This is my favorite in the line as far as blush is concerned. Another total favorite in the line are the bronze booster products. They have three or four items, I think. They have a pressed bronze booster. This is what the pressed one looks like. Um, I don't have it on hand anymore. I have used it. I had loved it. I just, I kind of cycle through so many products, you know, trying things out to review um, that I haven't used it in a while, but it is a fantastic product. It's marketed as matte, I believe, but it does have a tiny bit of shimmer in it. It's not orangey. It applies really well. This is also in the Bronze Booster line, and I love these for warmer weather. This is great to just like throw in the purse. It has a cute little mirror on the bottom. You have your brush in here that tucks in, and you kind of screw the cap on like so. This is very, very shimmery though. So if you are wearing full, full on makeup, this is not what you want to contour with. This is not like a great bronzer for accenting a full face of makeup. What this is great for is minimal makeup days when you want to add a little bit of color and glow and life to your skin. 
The bronze booster items do tend to be a little bit on the pricier side. This is $14.95, which I think is kind of really up there for a drugstore bronzer. Wait for a sale. That's another thing. Physician's Formula, notorious for having sales. There's always a sale somewhere. Look online. Go buy one, get one free. 40% off. Get some rewards back. Use coupons. You know the drill. The Concealer Twins, which I don't have in front of me because I actually use this product quite a bit and it's probably in my car or in a purse. This product is amazing. It has a yellow side and a regular side. And the yellow is great for those days when you're like, oh my gosh, there are like blue purple undertones under my eyes and I really need to color correct under my eyes. It's a fabulous color corrector. I would avoid the green duo though because the green, which is supposed to help with redness, actually just looks kind of strange on the skin. Across the board, Physicians Formula does a really, really wonderful job with concealers. I've been impressed with almost everything. I have one that I don't like, which I'll get to when we talk about all of the hated products, but um, they do a really fabulous job, so you really can't go wrong, except for with that one. <laughs> as far as primers go, they have this awesome primer. I don't really like this pink one. I need to give this to a girlfriend that would appreciate the pink shade, but the one that I have loved is in Nude. The only drawback to this product, because it's a beautiful primer, it does get rid of, you know, makes your pores look smaller, makes fine lines diminish, makes your makeup last all day. You know, it's a great product. Uh, I don't like the brush on here. I think that those kind of twist brushy things harbor bacteria and can actually cause breakouts even though the product itself is, you know, free of ingredients that would aggravate the skin. So that's the only drawback. I kind of like to get rid of the brush and just squeeze a little on my hand and then apply it with a makeup brush that I'm going to wash later on. But this is a great drugstore primer. Let's briefly hit on tinted moisturizers. This is kind of an area where Physicians Formula goes down a dark, not so good path. And I have tried the Organic Wear Tinted Moisturizer, which is pretty much just like a moisturizer, but it leaves your skin kind of feeling tacky and sticky. There is nothing cute about this product. It does not cover, it smells weird, it feels weird, and it's just kind of pointless. So I would really, really think twice about buying that product. I do want to add that there is one that is actually a really beautiful blend and a beautiful consistency and as a bonus it has an SPF of 50 and that is the Healthy Wear Tinted Moisturizer. My mom loves this stuff. She's addicted to it. She uses this as her foundation and it's great for more mature skin. It's great for younger skin. It's just a beautiful product. It's very light but does cover up, you know, just enough to kind of make you look even but not like you're wearing a ton of makeup. It has tomato derivatives. It has, what else, licorice extract. These are all in ingredients that are going to help brighten the skin and help sun damage. So it's just a really nice product. I do give that one a big thumbs up. And then the shimmer strips. I was going to feature this in the eyes video because really this is a very multi-purpose product. You can use it on the eyes. I'm actually wearing the Sunset Strip bronzer set underneath my eye just to give a little bit of a glow. I wouldn't use this as a bronzer. It says you can, but it will make you look extremely kind of metallic and not cute. So this I would use for eyes only, but this one, Riviera Strip, this is great for a highlight. It's just a beautiful, beautiful highlight. You guys can see I have used a ton of it. I featured this in my top five highlighters video and it's an awesome product. The Pearls of Perfection Multicolored Pearls. This is a bronzer. It's really kind of strange. It comes with a like sponge foam top which is really weird. And you expect there to be some type of a sifter here, but this is just fully loose. And with these pearls being so tiny like this, they fall everywhere. And that's not the only drawback of this particular product. It goes on extremely orange and it's shimmery. So you really can't do much with it. For me, when I want to shimmer, I want it to be either golden or highlighty. To have like orange shimmer is just not good. Concealer 101. This is one of the few concealer fails from Physicians Formula. You can see it comes in a pan. It's just a really hard, hard product. That's the only way I can describe it. So I would think twice about that one because it is really tough to work with. Um, this is a blush and the blush is all right, but the product that I want to say is a total dud is the Mineral Pearls in Translucent. I bought the product. I used it once. It looked great once, but then underneath, 
it's just kind of not shimmery and chalky. It's a very bizarre thing. You lose the shimmer. It's like they sprayed the top with a lot of shimmer. And then once you move the product around and scrape the top off, it's just a different product completely. This product I don't have on hand. I had used it and gave it away. I just did not like it. It is very chalky. I think it's because of the high SPF. It's funny because this product works really well as a tinted moisturizer and you still have the SPF 50, but as a pressed powder, it's not good. It just wears funny. It kind of sits on top of the skin. Um, you're going to photograph like a ghost in it. Um, beware with the, actually beware with the SPF 50 tinted moisturizer as well. Anything with SPF and flash photography is not going to mix. Um, but this powder just didn't do it for me. I didn't like it. So I had to let you guys know. I hope you're having a great day. I will see you in my next video. Mwah.